as the motorcade has passed through, it, the family's been somber, but not entirely. The, the windows are down at times. You see them waving to people, and you see people waving back to them, and, and you realize how much the Kennedy family means uh, not just to Cape, the Cape and Hyannisport, but also to the city of Boston and the state of Massachusetts. We see Maria Shriver there, First Lady of California, wife of Governor Arnold Schwarzenegger. This is at the JFK Museum, the Presidential Library, which is in, in Boston, just south of Boston there, uh, along the throughway. We're joined uh, from that location now by Peter Canellis, editor of The Last Lion, a biography of Ted Kennedy. Uh, Peter Canellis works at the Boston Globe. Uh, Peter, Let's talk about what we've seen so far today. What has struck you most as you've watched this motorcade move from the Cape up on into Boston here? Uh, what struck me most is that it's not just passing scenes of Ted Kennedy's life. It's passing scenes that the American people, and particularly the people of Massachusetts, shared with Ted Kennedy and his family really over five decades. Uh, it's, it's quite a, a moving homecoming. Peter, the church, if we can talk about the church as we watch the family here leave, that church in the North End they pass by, the significance of that church in uh, Senator Kennedy's mother's life. Absolutely. That's the church where she was baptized. It's near the home of her father, John Fitzgerald, called Honey Fitz, who was the first American-born Irish mayor of Boston and was a great figure in Ted Kennedy's life. He was an old man when Ted was a little boy, but he took Ted around Boston, showed him all the sites, not just the historic sites, but, but you know, the bars where you met people and the barber shops where Honey Fitz knew everybody's name. It was a real introduction to retail politics that he never forgot. Peter, we spent some time at the uh, JFK Museum in Hyannis yesterday, but we look here at images of the JFK Museum as we look at Joe Kennedy. As we look at images of the JFK Museum in Boston, can you talk a little bit about what that museum has meant for this family? The museum has been the centerpiece, really, of all the Kennedy family's activities, and it, it has meant a lot to Ted Kennedy, who was really the architect of this museum. He would hand out the uh, Profiles in Courage Award every year to a uh, politician who sort of stood against the wind and represented JFK's ideal of independent public service. Um, he would host events here, and eventually it's going to be the home of a, a special museum on the Senate uh, that will uh, explore Ted Kennedy's role in, you know, as a legislative lawmaker. We see Joe Kennedy right now. We just were looking at some images as well of Vicky who was greeting Boston Mayor Tom Menino. We saw Vicki leave the porch earlier today, and she was followed by the rest of the family. I'm not sure exactly what position you're in right now, Peter, but this was an enormous motorcade. There were 85 members of the family. They really came together today. They, they absolutely did, and that same house in Hyannisport is where Ted Kennedy, twice a year, would host reunions so that all the generations would get together and understand what it means to be a Kennedy. And we know they had to bring in an extra bus. Actually, they brought in a Peter Pan bus there because there were so many members of the Kennedy family who took part in this motorcade. Uh, Peter, from what you, we see Vicki now, the senator's wife, of 17 years. And you also see Gene Kennedy yeah. Smith. Uh, Gene, as we watch Gene right now, Gene is the only surviving member of those nine kids, of Joe and Rose Kennedy's nine children, and Vicki next to her. Yeah. So they Gene now. Kennedy Smith. Go ahead, Peter. Oh, I was going to say, Gene Kennedy Smith, you know, served as ambassador, U.S. ambassador to Ireland. She was the closest uh, of all of the relatives to Ted. She was closest in age, but also, uh, I think, personally and emotionally, they grew up together. They were a twosome, he and his sister Jean. And, and Jean, we should mention, though, Peter, has, has long been regarded, even though she was ambassador to Ireland for a while, she's long been regarded as, as maybe the most private of those nine kids. And as we watch her next to Vicky, is, is it safe to assume here that, that Vicky is, is taking the lead and is trying to coordinate and bring people together as these plans continue here? I know over the years there has been, I, at times, 
a little tension between Vicky and some members of the family. I think just a touch of tension that probably is typical in most families where there's you know a second wife and children from the first marriage but this is a family that really comes together and I think all of them all the family members respected Vicki Kennedy's role in protecting and taking good care of Ted Kennedy as he as he fought this last terrible illness Peter we're still watching the casket with the honor guard yes taking it out of the back of the hearse here I Isn't can't even it, imagine what an emotional moment this is for the family. I know, and it's reminiscent of so many other such moments in the Kennedy family. I'm, I'm sure that as they watch it, they're thinking of everything from Jack Kennedy to, to John Kennedy Jr. just 10 years ago, Robert Kennedy. It, it's, it's a very resonant image. They've been through this before, and they've come together before. Absolutely. This is something that, uh, that bonds them together, and it's something that Ted Kennedy, uh, you know, obviously felt deeply, the strength of family in time of crisis. Peter, as we watch the casket here, handled by the honor guard, this is members of all branches of the military service. And it's not just family members there and members of the military there. There are 50 members of City Year, which is a volunteer organization that meant a lot to Senator Kennedy and the yes. Kennedy family in general. The issue of public service meant so yes. much to them. And people, people think of the Kennedys so much in terms of their, you know, humanistic interests, in terms of things like City Year, things obviously like the Peace Corps, which was a huge family interest. Um, but the Kennedys also had a great reverence for the military. Ted Kennedy was a veteran. All of his brothers were veterans. Uh, one of the quiet things that he would do outside the limelight is attend the funerals of every serviceman from Massachusetts who was killed overseas and and then stay in touch with the families over the years almost as though you know he were a grieving relative as well and Peters we watch the family now follow the casket yes. into the museum they're gonna close this museum for a few hours now and then what they're gonna do is open it for public viewing and this has been a story as we watch Joe Kennedy and the rest of the enormous Kennedy clan follow behind there. This has been a story we've been following as well. There have been people who have been lining up since first thing this morning to get in line for this viewing that won't begin until at least 6 o'clock this evening. Likely it will be later at this point and the library may end up staying open all night. They were initially planning to stay open until only 8 or 9 o'clock, but so many people showed up. The family well, will be able a, to spend a, a little time inside the museum there. I think it's a testament with Senator to Senator Kennedy. The, Go ahead, Peter. It's a testament, I think, to the Kennedy family and the Kennedy family standing here in Massachusetts that people have been doing that. I mean, it's something that... Uh, we at the Boston Globe have gotten messages from people who said they never voted for Ted Kennedy, they never favored his policies, but they are surprised at how profoundly moved they are. Yeah, it it's could be. It's quite, quite the end of an era. It, it could be a polarizing family at times, but no, no question, I think, whether you agreed with the politics or not, a lot of people are watching this and paying their respects. Okay, Peter Canellos joining us from the JFK Library. Peter, thanks so much for your time. I know we'll be seeing you soon, uh, including on the evening news tonight. Thanks again. Thank you. We will have much more on the passing of Senator Edward Kennedy on your local news on this CBS station and on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric reporting tonight from Boston. For now, though, I'm Jeff Glor, CBS News in New York. We'll see you soon.